All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Final Fantasy 16. We are still on the homestead. And before we jump into the main mission, there's a couple of stuff that we need to do first. So anytime you get one of these plus green logos, it's usually, it's kind of a side quest, but the payoff is usually pretty good with it. So we're gonna do that first. Looks like we're going back downstairs again. I think. Yes. Yes, downstairs. Like the last time we did one of these, we got like, we literally got our chocobo mount. So we, we got to keep our eye on these. Nigel. Sid, I, I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if, well, I know you are from Rosaria and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business, Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblin's eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrow Eyes. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Where are you at? Morgan beards. What are you after? Do I want to buy? I don't need. A, I don't need the. Take care out there, eh? Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look. Wonder if I need like the base like weapon to, stuff up. to make something else. Who knows? I assume the plus one probably would be good enough, though. Run like the wind. Like the wind. Go around the the lake no bugs no oh, she's near the ambient certainly damp let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan beards wait did we not get, get him. wow Maybe Jill was. We think I, so she just gave us like a temporary ice sword. It wasn't a permanent one. I guess I'm getting kind of to the archive. Wait, 
my sword charges so much quicker now with that upgrade that I did. Well, speaking of abilities, speaking of abilities, I have not upgraded abilities in a long time. How many points do I have? Oh my god! So many points. Okay, okay, okay. Not a huge fan of that attack. No. Man, thousand, dude, really? <laughs> I should probably invest into some of these. I would love to use these more often, but they're so expensive and they're so expensive and the cooldown is just so long and the majority the majority of the fights you're fighting in this game are boss battles, it's just like trash mobs, so Big boy! It's nice to have another. It's nice to have another bar of leather play. So much juice. Bright yellow. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well gather as many as I can. There's something familiar about this scent. Me of home. Hopefully, this will be enough. Hopefully, you never know, though. What's the payout here? That's the question. We see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? You sent me on a mission. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the court physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, 
That is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. Tinkerin? Tinkerin! And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Is it does it auto do it or do I have to do it every single time? Okay, auto. See, see, it was worth it, guys. Well, wow, worth it. Let's go, potions. I actually need to refill my. St I'm Sid. Why is it off limits to me? Well, don't just stand there gawping. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. I'm rich. It'd better all be here. Uh... Ten thousand. That's too much. That's too much. You'll not find a better That's price than that. Finished, are you? You betcha. All right, where's this next one? Clive. About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me? I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Give us two One blue, one red. Gotcha. Keep them pilgrims nice and chilled. Look at this place. Let's hope the draper has Hortensis cloth. I'm gonna have to kill something Might for I it. Might I interest you in some swan's down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. 
Yep. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bucklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south. Yes. Hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. No walking for us. I don't get my steps in real life. I'm not going to get my steps in a video game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if I make it past 60. That damn bird's a menace. She meant nothing by it, I swear. Who's going to buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my staff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am. But, um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect! Oh my god, it was a setup. I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits! As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop pouring me down. Garudo! Easy claps. Easy claps. I'll probably do an upgrade on Garuda next. All right, all right. You made your point. Killer, my ass. Did he hurt you? No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. 
And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Fare thee well. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. I'm gonna shoot my shot That's here. Done, then. Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. Let's say I would trade it all for your phone number. <laughs> Well, what's the equivalent of your phone number back in the day here? <laughs> your address, I guess. All right, I got your clothes. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way. But you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry, I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Something up with my eyes. They look like I'm like a wolf eyes or something. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh no, oh, if there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. This one, I suppose. I've a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? Hmm? I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess, then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just had that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. She's a Disney princess. Damn, that's 500 ability points. Guys, you gotta do these quests, man. Lady Hort Holy. Said she'd give us our dresses soon. Ten short. You Said kidding be made me? Of linen. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's notice. Don't worry. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Mm -hmm. I don't have that one. You do. Here you are. Sorry, but you're not quite there yet. Best of luck out there, Sid. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian. In the hope she can make sense of them. If you set on going, you'll want to talk to her. 
Understood. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The selfsame army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The North. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Kind of eager to lose his other eye, isn't he? <laughs> Uh, 
Ja, das brennt sie. Die OG Gangster Handshake. Hugo und his men have been busy. We've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. My sword kind of matches Jill's sword. Oh! like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Oh, old boy. Vengeance. Protect is just fifty percent, right? It's not completely invulnerable. Once again, the, the rule of thumb is to kill the mages first. The people cast them to protect. The frame rate's a little chuggy, a little bit. Kind of cowards, but look what we have here, gentlemen. <laughs> but with this game, a lot of the trash mobs get like a lot of screen time, <laughs> you want this like more game. than I would expect. <laughs> I 
gosh, that gives, that gives me enough for my next upgrade. Yeah, baby. Cut them down with me, then. For the aircraft. Out of our way. Where are these new enemies? Who's that mage? You. Come here, you. Oh, they're back. Oof. Yeah, frame rate, dude. Not good. Not good, not good. Tempted to drop it down to 30. Sometimes you just take a rock solid 30 uh, other than like a up and down 60. Sixty looks nice though. Can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. Can't see. Just out of curiosity, let me try it. Okay, let's just try this for a second. Casting cure back there, dude. Oh, that looks 
so much better. I turned off motion blur. Oh my god. I think like motion blur is like one of the most important things in the game. I don't want to take people in there. I like it. Everything to look just the all the time. Yeah, mo no motion blur with frame rate. That's the best way to play. Loose. They have a curl. I didn't bring any soft. These fools paralyze you. Attack! Ready? What do you think? Bad kitty! Oh, hey. I'm not gonna let you build a spirit bomb, dude. That's not gonna happen. Like, I'm just fighting him within his lightning. I will stagger him again. Yeah, get him! I'll charge. You ain't no Pikachu. Hey, maybe you are. Oh, look at those eye frames. <laughs> Good night. Double tap. Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. 
Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. <laughs> Still, little snowflake, I would not have you melt before your starring moment. to the festivities. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> Can't believe we were captured so easily. No more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> <laughs> are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle, but the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Nearly forgot. Gav, MVP. MVP! Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. I feel bad things are going to happen to Jill. I have to get to the courtyard. You think I needed potions? Oh my god. Oh, 
hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Have another oh form? Lord Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough. Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry. Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Oh, you got a game. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Later. With me. Big guy down first. Coming down or what? Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kopka's reward shall be ours. I thought bad news always came in threes. Let them come. Ways and this? What the heck? Level up. It 
It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Let's go get this fool. I promise you, Sid. You'll die by my hand. Kuka. You're late. Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom. Of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. Oh boy. And I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! Hear me, Rosfield! You will pay! For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my plans! And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? 
you're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. Now die! 1v1, baby! 1v1, Neon Rust! Epic battle music, let's go! Transform and let's go. Show me your final form, dude. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh my god, 
Get away, get away. I can't go on. What the heck? Oh my god, I just fell. It's the first time I've died. I thought that I would have to try to knock him down. Oh my god. I think I had to get away from him there. Blowing's low there, yeah? Go, go, get out, get out. Done yet. Earth Shard.
Ant's throwing haymakers. Oh, come on, Clive. We took his hands. <gasps> what? <laughs> it's okay, they'll go back. Dude, don't even pretend. Soul is mine. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! Another time, Mythos. Does Bahamut guy. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. It'll give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? 
Feels like a shame just leave. We fought our way back for so long to get back here. Gentlemen, we're gonna call up so right here. And the next one we'll head back to the hideaway to continue the story. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and we'll play together very, very soon.